Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Kitaholic Kits design team and yeah, so I'm just taking you through quickly what I'm doing. Um, this is one of this month's exclusive cut files. It's a whole bunch of stars, different sizes, different kind of shaped stars as well and um, I really did kind of have an idea in mind um, when I created these uh, stars for the cut file um, and I mean you can really do anything with them but this is really kind of the layer I had in my head so um, I'm just taking you through what I'm doing I'm just kind of duplicating the stars um, I'm starting with my largest ones first um, and then kind of spreading them out and what I want is this kind of star frame around the edge of my paper um, and I want to kind of layer them up and pop some up on foam um, glue some flat to the background pattern paper as well and just kind of get some real dimension in a really lovely border um, to frame my layer. Now I do apologize as well I am slightly stuffy I'm kind of going through a bit of a um, cold at the moment it's been going through the house <laughs> um, so I do apologize if I sniff or I have to cough or something um, but yeah so I'm just quickly taking you through what I'm doing this is um, I like to do this sometimes because it gives you a good indication of how many stars you're going to need um, to cut for your background or how many of whatever image you're doing um, and so I'm just kind of working my way around filling in some of the gaps I'm not being too picky about filling in all of them because I know that those stars hanging off the edge of the side you can see them hanging off now um, I'm going to be able to cut them um, off the side of my pattern paper and then use those pieces as well so they're going to help to kind of fill in those gaps as well so I'm not going too overboard um, with the stars so there we go I've gone ahead and cut them all out of white cardstock I just kind of separated them from the border and lay them out on my cutting mat like you normally would and I've gone ahead and cut them so I'm just going to go through now and back them all with pattern papers I like to use the especially for my first layout for the month um, I like to use the cut apart sheets if there are some or the um, cards that are given in the pocket page kit they're great for backing cut files so instead of cutting straight into 12 by 12 pattern papers um, I like to use these up first they're great for photo layers as well um, back in your photos with um, yeah so I think I used most of them I think there were maybe four four by six cards left and I did use some of the one of the specialty papers that came in the kit as well because the stars kind of fit around a few of the phrases so I thought it'd be a great way to bring in that pop of that um, holographic kind of silver look as well so I'm just going through I'm getting a range of sizes and popping them on the paper and then I'm going to go ahead and cut them out and I do that with all of the stars um, I don't make you watch at all pretty simple process and a really easy shape to cut out I mean I really could have gone ahead and got my cameo to do this but um, yeah I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> sometimes it's really not worth the effort to get your cameo to do it if you know what I mean if it's a really basic shape you can do it um, yourself and cut it out yourself really easily so they're all done I've got my background pattern paper here I knew immediately I was going to use the star pattern paper I love this paper um, and yeah so I'm bringing that in and it would be great I knew it would be a great opportunity to get all those stars around the border to really pop off because they were all backed with um, colors and pattern paper so right yeah I'm just like I did basically in the silhouette studio I am starting with my larger stars first placing them out and then just kind of spreading them all around making sure to get a good mix of color around the border um, I don't want a lot of the same patterns together and things like that so just trying to find spots for them all, layering them on top of each other. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing them down. So these larger ones are going to be glued directly to the background. And then the ones kind of sitting on top, I'm going to pop up on some adhesive foam squares. Now don't make you watch me glue down the entire lot, but I just want to give you um, a bit of an idea of what I'm doing here. I do apologise if you hear noises. My, noises my um, husband's outside doing some work on my parents' pergola for them um, he's popping a cover on it for them okay so that's all done skip to I'm cutting off those side pieces like I said um, at the beginning of the video um, these are great to kind of add and fill in those empty spots I think someone's coming in to talk to me <laughs> um, yes they get distracted very easily so I'm cutting them off and I'm going to use some of those pieces the larger pieces to kind of fill in those empty spots on the layout 
and they're a great way to kind of spread some of that color around so you can see I've got those two two really um, in your face stars there's one up the top left and one down the bottom right of that um, rainbow pattern paper so um, by bringing that half a star over to the bottom left it's kind of balanced out that pattern um, if that makes sense okay so I've finished gluing them down I'm adding some splatters of some black liquitex acrylic ink just to kind of add some interest to that background um, there is some faux pink splatters on the pattern paper but I just wanted a little bit more um, just for a bit of interest I'm going to back my photos with um, one of the 4x6 cards from the pocket page kit and I'm pretty sure I only do one layer uh, but yeah so the photos are of Edison they're from not the farm we were just on <laughs> but the farm we were on prior to that the, the one with the jerseys um, this is a photo of Eddie, she is um, all in her farm gear and she's been jumping in muddy puddles and <laughs> she's got the funniest look on her face, she's happy as can be because she's covered in mud <laughs> and she knows I'm annoyed <laughs> um, she just thinks it's hilarious but it's a photo of her in front of the barn, the big herd home that the Jerseys had um, and I think this was taken not long before we finished up on that farm and I think I was kind of just like I wanted to kind of document where we'd been and um, I don't think I really had a lot of photos of the barn it's a really cool place for the cows the cows loved it um, well they still love it <laughs> um, but yeah so that's kind of what I'm documenting and Eddie um, jumping in the mud <laughs> okay so I'm going to go through the die cuts there's a bunch of die cuts in the kit this month there always is um, but I'm going to kind of flick through them I've decided to put them all into um, one of these little containers this month because I generally leave all my stuff in my kit box um, that it gets delivered in and um, I find I kind of forget about things so I decided to just kind of shove them all in one container so that I was kind of forced to see them I guess and um, it's kind of working because I went through everything I'm just going through the all heart die cuts now just pulling up bits that I think will work um, I did cut off one of those little pieces from one of the specialty paper, that one that says H for happy, and that's going to end up being my title. Um, I'm just going through those Journal Studio die cuts that came in the pack now, and I've pulled out a tag from there, um, and that Good Vibes um, die cut as well, that went great, it was a nice pop of black and white, and a little black label from the exclusives um, die cuts as well. So just kind of layering some bits, getting some colour in around my photo, um, and just putting some kind of quirky little bits on there. I did layer a little flower in between um, the photos. Now that's on purpose because I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not so much a fan of those realistic flowers. So this kind of helps um, helps me get them used, um, and I don't feel like it ruins the feel of the layout for me if that makes sense like I'm kind of covering the center part of the flower when you see the entire image of the flower it looks really realistic but if you cover up a part part of it or a portion of it um it kind of you can get away with it <laughs> if that makes sense um yeah it's just some people love it some people hate it we're all kind of entitled to our own opinions I don't hate it I don't mind it it's growing on me um but yeah it's just this is a way for me to um, get my products used up okay so I'm just going through the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet now just pulling off some pieces I want to get some dimension in um, around the layout um, I love my dimension so um, I'm just going to add a few little pieces I've got three chipboard pieces around that frame um, of the stars and then I did cut off that um, thicker set happy day I was going to add that but I kind of designed myself out of a space to put a title um, so it doesn't end up making it onto the layout and I decided to just have my title as the happy from that um, piece or it could really be anything it could be good vibes could be looking good <laughs> um, but yeah Okay, so I'm going through the stamp set. This is from the Crepe Paper All Heart Collection. And I'm just adding a few of those sketchy kind of stars with some black um, ink just around my layout um, in three kind of places um, on that background, just for a bit of interest. And then I'm going through the 6x12 
um, Chamel's Sparkle City collection, um, and there were stars in there, so I just go, you know, star crazy. <laughs> you you could kind of guess where this was heading. <laughs> um, if I'm going to pick a shape, I just go nuts. So I'm pulling out all of those holographic kind of silver star ones that are in this collection, because it just goes perfect with this layout. Um, there are some blue ones as well, and I think maybe a couple of pink ones that I get onto the layout, because those colours really worked well on the layout so I'm just adding them um, a little pigeon um, because of course I'm going to pop a pigeon on there there are pigeons around the farm there are wild pigeons everywhere around New Zealand and these guys like to nest in the barn <laughs> and um, in the sheds on the farm so it's totally appropriate to have a pigeon on there that is not a random embellishment <laughs> Um, just going through the puffy stickers now I did pull off a few little sentiments and kind of scatter them around um, we've got some little, I popped some little earphones on there, that's a random embellishment, but that's okay. <laughs> um, a little puffy sticker camera, and I did have a quick look through the Heidi Swap sticker book, but um, I felt like it was getting a little bit wordy, so I've just kind of popped that back in place. Um, I am going to pull out some stars off this 12 by 12 chipboard sheet. Um, I want some dimensions and different shapes of stars. Um, different sizes of them so I'm just kind of scattering them around where I've done that stamping um, yeah I think that's pretty much it so I'm going to start to glue everything down there um, I don't make you watch it all it's a really simple process but so, like some of those sticker stars and stuff I pop out on foam um, some are glued directly to the pattern paper it's just kind of getting a bit of interest in layers um, in amongst the layout so I'm just kind of working my way around doing these little pieces that are stuck on the border first. A little bit of glue behind everything. And then I can kind of start on my photo cluster as well. And we've skipped two. I've done that. It's pretty much finished. I do a double check that I've glued everything down. I did contemplate a black border. I thought it might look quite nice. But um, it obviously looked better in my head than it did in real life. So <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, but that's pretty much it for my lane. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you want to check out the kits this month, there's a link in the description box below. Um, but until next time, bye guys.